my channel. This is Tita Lavinia of Tita Su Pageantry. And as you can see, I am out and about. I am here at the New Frontier Theater. I will be covering... Wait lang, ang gulo. <laughs> Binibini Pilipinas, the final screening for you. And it's gonna be really amazing because for the first time, itong tita nyo ay wala sa labas. Ang tita nyo ay nasa loob. So, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good evening. Tala, everybody has been waiting for you. People are saying you look like Megan Young. I get that. You do. I'm in the same setting, which is a lot of All right. Tala, a lot of people have been waiting for you. What was the push that made you decide to go for Binibining Pilipinas this year? It's actually a lifelong dream. So, first of all, when it came to my mind, or the pose that there's gonna be a baby. I said to myself that I had to be that pageant. I had to present myself and show the people what truly a baby is. And now I'm here and I'm so grateful. There are only two crowns, apparently, unless they add another. How do you feel about that? Laban lang ba o ano? Laban lang. Laban lang. It's not just about the crown, it's also about you enjoying the competition. Thank you so much, you and so much. you look amazing. Oh, Beautiful thank you. dress. Thank you. you look like a yellow Tinkerbell. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Shannon Manzano, you're more than a stunner from Kazan City. Absolutely a stunner. Shannon, for everyone, um, you're one of the tallest girls. How tall are you again? I'm standing 5 feet and 5'10 and a half. 5'10 and a half. And the last time we learned about you in pageantry, you were very, very young then. And what have you been doing this whole time? Well, at first, I'm, I was focusing on my college because I'm now studying yes. in UB Diliman, of course. And I'm now in second year, so it's a bit of a easy chill back here for me. So I decided to join Binibini. And it's, the, it's their 68 years, so I want to be part of their history. And congratulations. Hey. Congratulations. I'd like to talk to both of you first. Please introduce yourselves. Of course, I'm familiar, but our viewers aren't. <laughs> I am Jasmine. I'm 26 and I'm from the province of Pampanga. Ooh, Pampanga. Well, hello, Miss Pampanga. What about the lady in green? I am Bien Shireen Lunafoy, 22 years old from Kalamba, Laguna. So, girls, uh, this is my first time to see you here at the Nationals. I'm just not sure if you joined the other pageants, but how different is it to become part of this established brand called Bini Bini Filipinas? Let's start with you, Ms. Mampanga. You know what they always say, once a Bini Bini, always a Bini Of course! And now that I'm an official Bini Bini, it's an identity that I can carry on for the rest of my life. So that's a privilege and an honor, and I'm just very glad that today, what about you, Miss Vian? Growing up, I've always looked up to beauty queens, especially Miss Venus Rock. She inspired me that we women can create change in our world. And so I'm just like, I'm living a childhood dream. Hey, Tita, I've been so excited. I'm so excited to redeem myself, okay. to reclaim my destiny. So definitely my redemption na mga yari ngayon. Yes, Tita, definitely. And you have to watch that out. We are excited. A lot of people are waiting for you. In fact, when your photos came out, a lot of people were like, Doc Trisha pala sa sale, sa sale. So you're here and we're happy to see you and the whole transformation. I know. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you. get to talk to Liz Mabo. Hi, Liz. Just a quick hi. Liz, a lot of people have been asking me about you. I'm afraid I'm not very familiar. Could you say a quick hello to everyone? Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for supporting me. Finally, an official candidate in this year's Bini Bini Pilipinas, and I'm definitely gonna give my 101%. Liz, what province or city or municipality are you representing? I'm gonna be representing the government capital of the Philippines, Taytay Rizal. Taytay Rizal! This is it. Thank you so much! Good evening to you. Um, 
Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, finally, ako ma dapat ng finally. Grabe. Vera, a lot of people um, really buzzed up on your photo when your camp released your photo. We posted it. Sabi namin love child ni Marian Rivera and like some other actress. At maganda in person. Um, although nak na tanong na kanina, very briefly, could you give us an introduction? Of course, I would do it again for you. So hi everyone, my name is Vera Dickinson. I'm 21 years old, proudly representing the Interlock Province. I'm a third-year college student taking a Bachelor of Science in Accountancy in Holy Angel University. I was raised by a single mother because I lost my father to cancer at the very young age of 13 to cancer. That was a point in my life where I realized I wanted to pursue my love and passion for pageantry because I wouldn't want this my father to see what I love the way, and that is pageantry. And with my love and passion for pageantry, last year I was crowned Miss Pilipini Kadlami 2023 with the hopes of representing my province in the Pilipini Kadlami stage. And finally, I'm here, so I'm just really, really glad that I'm here. It's so surreal up until now. Well, it's also surreal for us to see you here. We are happy, of course, to have you here. And congratulations. Good luck to you. Salamat. Well, hello, Phoebe. Everybody knows, everyone who watches me on Sunday knows that for years, you've been my bias. Thank you. You are here. You are back. You're in fighting form. I have been watching your moves for months. I mean... I know you've been going to the gym, but tell me, because the last time we had a conversation, you were not so sure with your pageant direction. What happened, Phoebe? I actually was. You know, I have to be honest, I was considering to just pursue working, having a career, but my boss, my co-workers have encouraged me. Like, now that I'm in Manila and I have the opportunity to join, why not? Gagawa ko ng tarpaulin for her. My gosh. Well, Phoebe, I will not take up a lot of your time because I know I will have more opportunities to make you chica chica because you're my favorite. Everybody knows it. Thank you so much and please send my regards to your mama. <laughs> Congratulations. Good evening. I am Tita Lavinia from Tita of Pageantry and nakikinig lang ako sa iyo. Tama ba? Quezon City ba ang ni-represent natin? Baluarte pala ni Christine to and Christine taga Commonwealth, taga QC rin ako. So eto pala ang manok ng Quezon City. Christine, um, can you tell us a little bit of a background? Because I don't recall or I don't remember you in other pageants, pero baka naman hindi lang ako sure. Please give us a little bit of an introduction. Actually, I recently joined the uh, Miss Universe Philippines Quezon City. Oh! Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the top 10. Talaga ba? But why? Chaz! <laughs> so, I didn't go. It was a great journey yes, for me I would that gave me momentum mm -mm. para mag-join dito sa Binibini Pilipinas. So, everything happens for a reason. And you seem so happy. I mean, tama nga naman yan. Redirected beauty pala tong ating Miss Quezon City. Alright, thank you so much. Good luck and I'll check you more. Very, very Angelica Lopez ang uh, dati nga. <laughs> thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Thank beautiful. All right. What is your name and what are you representing? Hi, I'm Randall Antrigig and I am your reigning Binibining Laguna 2024. And hopefully I'm going to represent the province of Laguna. But I don't know yet because we have four Lagunenses here Ooh. that enter the top 40. So we'll see what will happen in the next few days. Graysel, good evening and congratulations. Thank you, Tita. Thank you so much. How are you? You na nga eh. Medyo masyugal. Graysel, how does it feel to be a Binibini? Super saya. Iyak ako actually kanina nung tinawag ako. And it's like a dream come true. My 15 year old self would be really so proud of her future right now. Happy day for you. Um... What made you decide to go for it at Binibini this year? Well, I stopped for like one and a half year because of what happened. But you know what they say, you'll never be ready until you decide. That's why I decided to join this year. Well, so, andito ka na ngayon. <laughs> it's the 60th edition. Exactly. And you're sparkly, just like the 60th edition. 
You're still representing Quezon Province, right? I'll be representing the city. Of the city Quezon of Quezon, I see. Well, whatever that is, congratulations. You, we'll see more of you. Thank you, Ling. Hello, you're very pretty. How are you? I'm so thrilled and happy for the blue. You have a really catchy name, Marikit. I think it's I, very apt as well. Alam niyo po, a little trivia about my name. Mm -hmm. Although many people actually um, know na maganda po ang meaning ng Marikit in Filipino. Also in Pangasinense, it means lady or in Filipino, bini bini. And I'm just so thrilled that, you know, for me to be here, I think it's the bini bini Pilipinas that chose me. And I'm just so excited for my journey. Excited din kami, parang feeling ko pareho tayo excited dalawa. <laughs> Thank you, Marikit! Ang harot-harot! Gusto-gusto ko siya. <laughs> You're so harot! I like it. Thank you, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Candidate number 32, dahil wala ka pang pangalan, what is your name? Yes, my name is Maria Abigail Hahalia, representing Kamigin Province. Wow, Kamigin. Maria Abigail. How, how should we call you? You can call me Abby. Abby, all right, Abby. Again, you're wearing my favorite color, chartreuse. Yes. Abby, has anyone told you you actually look like Christy McGarry, one of the contestants for Miss Universe? Yeah, I've actually been getting that comment since. Before. Yeah, and I think it's a compliment, actually. Thank you. Of course, uh, Miss McGarry was also a former Bini Bini. Yes, yes. And um, did you travel far, or have you been staying lang dito sa Manila for this? I've been staying in Manila for more than 10 years now, but I've been going back to Kamigin for leisure and visit. Um, yeah. Alright, Kamigin. When we talk about Kamigin, we think about mangoes, we think about volcanoes, ano pa? Give us one other thing na pag sinabing yon Kamigin ang maiisip mo. Actually, Kamigin is located in the northern tip of Mindanao and it has a lot of hidden gems. And if you ask me one thing about Kamigin, it would be the rich culture heritage it has and the rich history it has and I would like to share it to everyone. Alright, well thank you so much and congratulations, you're so pretty! And this was all announced. You know what Tita's of pageantry, there are two of us. Me and Tita B. Dalawa kami sa Tita's of pageantry. And my other partner, who is pregnant right now, she's giving birth in a few weeks. Wow. She said, si Kim ang manok ko dyan. Tita kami from you. Oh, diba? So si Kim daw ang manok natin ngayon. Kim, tell us about your beautiful dress. This is a pretty, pretty dress. Well, my beautiful dress. This is from GRM. Costume and rentals from Caloacan City also. This is uh, from Princess Rivera from Caloacan City. So, Kaloocan pa rin ba ang nire-represent natin this year? Yes, as your Miss Kaloocan 2024, I am so humbly and so proud to represent Kaloocan in Bini Bini Philippines. Okay, Kim, of course, since we're very familiar with you, anong i-expect namin sa bagong Kim Velasco this year? Well, expect someone who's very passionate and dedicated to be a Bini Bini Filipinas queen. I am a Philippine Air Force Reserve and the Youth Director of the Young Miss Christian Association. So, asahan nyo na not only I am giving you a glam shot, but I'm gonna take you and uh, share with you my advocacy, which is the Women and Youth Empowerment. Ayan, nakala ko naman panibagong Kim, kakain na ng manok na buhay, o kaya naman bubuga na ng... Kakain na ng... Ay, talaga ba? Patay ka sa akin, talaga ba? Thank you, Kim. Congratulations. Good vibes. Good evening to you. Good evening, Alabaster Skin. How do you take care of your skin because it's in the middle of summer? Actually, I use sunscreen every two hours. Ah, two hours? Yes, but I make sure to use water-based sunscreen so that it's not going to be, you know, clogging our pores. Because we need to make sure Makinig tayo, guys. We need to make sure na kahit summer, we still take good care of our skin. And of course, hydrate, hydrate. You know, they usually say like it's normal to use two liters of water. I actually drink more than that. Grabe, ang flawless. So bright and uh, thank you. Congratulations. I'll give you to the others. Karon lang shallow. Loka.
Congratulations! Congratulations!